There are a handful of search engines that will allow you to gain access to websites on a global scale. You can extract this data to help you write the most recent articles, industry analysis, keyword research, and SEO opportunities. Constantly browsing search engines to find what you're interested in can be a tedious process. We are Parsub, and today we'll show you how you can scrape a search engine results page like Bing to scrape multiple websites and pages. With a web scraper like Parsub, we will be able to scrape page URLs targeting a keyword. We will extract the page title, meta description, and URL link. Make sure to download and install Parsub for free before you get started. The download link is in the description. Now, let's begin. For this project, we're going to scrape the web pages that target the term web scraping. First, download and install Parsub. Click on the new project button and submit the URL into the text box. The website will now render inside of the app. A select command will automatically be created. While using the select command, click on the first organic title, not an ad, that is on the results page. You should notice that the title you selected will be highlighted in green. Parsub will now suggest which other elements you want to extract in yellow. Click on the next headline that is in yellow to select them all. You may need to do this two to three times to teach Parsub what to extract. The rest of the page titles will now be highlighted in green. On the left sidebar, rename your headline selection to something more appropriate. We're going to name it Page Title. You should notice that you're extracting the URL and the title that are on the first page. Click on the plus sign next to your page title and choose the relative select command. Click on the first page title that is highlighted in orange, then click on the description below it. An arrow will appear showing the association you've created. You may need to repeat this step to fully train the web scraper. Rename your selection to description. If we were to start our project, we would only extract URLs and titles on the first page. We will now teach you how to add pagination to your web scraping project. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. Using the select command, scroll all the way to the next page link. Click on it and select and rename your selection to next button. Click on the icon next to your next button selection and expand it. Delete the two commands under your next selection. Click on the plus sign next to your next selection and add a click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is a next page link. Click on yes and enter the number of times you'd like to repeat this process. In this case, we will repeat it four times. It is now time to run your scrape. To do this, click on the green get data button on the left sidebar. Here you will be able to test, schedule, or run your scrape job. For larger projects, we recommend that you always test your job before running it. In this case, we will run it right away. Once your run is complete, you'll be able to download it as an Excel or JSON file. You now know how to scrape a search engine's results page like Bing. The great thing about Parsub is that you can schedule your projects to run every hour, day, or week, depending on what you need. This way, you can always get the latest algorithm updates and see what changes. If you run into any issues during this project, reach out to us via the live chat on our website, and we will be happy to assist you with your project. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at parsup.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping!